Yes. <laughs> I nearly lost today, and that is because how people have give direction and things. But it is easy for Trinidadian to communicate with Trinidadian because the simplest of things does get tied up when you hear Trinidadian get anything. Listen to this. It has all kind of language and all kind of food, but for commonality. They should have given the food a particular name so we go know where we're getting. You understand? Here what happened. Now, alu pie is a combination of East Indian and English. Now, so we say alu means potato, therefore it's a potato pie. We safe with that. They now start to sell alu pie with chana. Now, you ain't sure if it's a chana pie or it's a alu pie. You, you, you see them? Kind of, and them problem is real, real that's real worries. Now, the next thing, like, if you go to Bago and ask for shadow benny, you wouldn't get. You have to ask for fit weed. So you're going to Bago now, you say fit weed. You come in town, you buy shadow benny. You're going in the country and you meet an East Indian seller of shadow benny, you have to know it's bandania. Or else you won't get it at all. Put down all the names, just like how they're doing for everything. You understand know what I mean? Now, the next thing is Kalalu. To me, Kalalu in construction, they always look like a soup. Or so I thought, till I meet a menu card saying Kalalu soup. Well, what is that now? So, what the other? Well, at least you could use the one I didn't know you could use it on bread. So, this Kalalu in the earlier time was your sandwich spread. I have no idea. I, you, 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 see the, you see the problem? No, and next thing, with normal food, you know. No, if you have like a roti, everybody know a roti with all the, the meats and the sauces is a plain roti. I grew up learning that. The whole world, what you call it, dalpur if it happens, and you call it a normal if it ain't happy. You see where you are. It's a roti. No, when I hit tongue, in my old days, it have a thing called roti skin. Now, here are the worries with that. Here are the worries with that. When you buy a roti now, you're getting skin and thing in it. You know it have people that say, I don't mind eating a roti, you know, boy, but I don't peel it. I don't like the skin. <laughs> now, how are you going to let? You, you, you know now, if you feel you're getting confused with them thing, when they start to talk about fig, well, then trouble take you. Now, fig up to a certain size is fig, and bigger than that is banana. That is except planting, which is planting is a planting is a planting. That is neither fig nor banana. It is of the same family, but it doesn't take the last name. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you see the problem you're having? No, if they have a bunch of banana that green, they tell you, we have a bunch of green fig in the corner. When it ripe, they tell you, pick a banana now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, and if you feel fig confusing, it have other, anyway, we haven't talked about fig too much because I want to go into mango. No, mango is a thing define all laws of geography. <laughs> because mango, it have about 25 brand of mango, but they have 36 names. <laughs> so some mango, some mango, two same kind of mango had different names, you understand? Know and that's not the only problem. They have a way that does add place name to in front of the mango and confuse you. You could go a Rima and pick a princess tongue do <laughs> you, you, you see the problem there now? Or you could go Sandy Grandy and get a lab refer. <laughs> Geography fly out the window. Now, if in the food that all that we know, you have problem, you could imagine asking a man with some ways. Well, boy, that is a long story. I tell you, it's a good thing I see somebody who I know. That's how I get here. Else, all now so. Is you watching Hugo Blanco, yeah? <laughs> <laughs>